Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another e-learning video session. The video is basically the summary of the things what we are doing in the weeks of e-learning classes. Before I start my video, because the Ramadan Kareem is coming, so all of you wish you a very, very happy and blessed Ramadan. I hope grade 8 you people are staying home and staying safe. I wish you very good luck. Well, let's start the story. The story is The Snapping Turtle, written by Joseph Rukat. Today we are going to share some important things about the story. We're going to summarize it. We will talk about some details. We will talk about the literary analysis and reading skills also. We'll talk the vocabulary in context. Okay, this is what we are going to do. So let's start. In, in, while in introducing the story, I ask you a question that where do we get our values? Like integrity, loyalty, honesty. What do you think? What's your opinion? So please give me your opinions again. Uh, some of you, they gave me their opinions. So where do we get our values we get our values from a patch work of different sources including important people in our lives the communities around us right and mass media all of them we learn from them okay we learn the values from them someone are being loyal some someone are honest and we learn from them we learn from society we learn from the social media and so many other ways we learn and get our values especially when you are a kid the boy in the story you are about to read gets many of his values from his grandparents but as you'll see these values are put to the test of course you know you people when you do something it tests not only your upbringing it test your values how loyal you are how honest you are so take one minute to list some of the values that are important to you circle the value that most influences how you will live your life then as a class we did this in the class okay that reflect the group's responses and discuss where you learn these values so these are the values and we can talk about them from where did we learn and the things next to that well cultural context another authors write within a cultural context which includes the events social problems traditions and values in the world around them mostly what does you know if if an author is american or if an author is egyptian or if an author is irani or Palestini or pakistani or any other nationality when they will write you will find the culture in their writing this is the best thing how we can learn about the other people culture how from their writing we can come to know like students nowadays uh, we are re reading american literature while we are reading we read a very clear factor of racism okay we learned that in america how the racism was growing how the people were affecting from that and how it affected the people so this is what we meant that cultural con authors write within a cultural context okay we show the cultural values their traditions this cultural context is often reflected in the themes or messages about life the authors share and in the characters they create okay read the biography on page of the student edition to learn more about the cultural context in which joseph brookek writes okay then as you read the snapping turtle notice how brookek's themes and characters reflect his background so these are the questions to think okay students the second strategy we are going to use is compare and contrast. When you compare two or more things, you identify ways in which they are alike. 
when you contrast them you find ways in which they are different so the apple color is different as you can see in the picture but both are apple right probably their taste can be different even the two same color apples maybe one can be sour one can be sweet who doesn't know who knows thinking about characters similarities and differences can help you recognize their qualities and values okay when you will discuss two different characters you will recognize two different personalities okay and maybe you will find something same you know we did this if you remember we did this activity in our class i asked you that who is your best friend and why she is your best friend do, do you find anything same between you and her or what are the different things in your personality right it's like same compare and contrast okay in the snapping turtle you will compare and contrast the narrator the boy who is telling the story and other boys the narrator's grandmother and grandfather so this is the task which i gave you in worksheet number 3 well okay how this is how you have to do so let's come for the very important and first part of the worksheet which was vocabulary the vocabulary words in the box on the right have brokeback tell about a boy's relationship with nature okay these will help us to find out the relationship the boy with the nature so try restating each sentence this is the activity we have done using a different word or phrase for the vocabulary word sample answers appear in brackets so here philosophy is leave nothing but footprints philosophy means your point of view the memorial garden seem to give the hero immortality i gave you example like sheikh zaid as he done so many things okay and when we make something for him that is immortality he never ending life no the life is never ending life because he has done some great things and people not only admire his work they love him and they like mem memorize him ev everything whatever he has done for them Amy and I like to traps around the meadow. So wander. I have no inclination to go indoors when it's nights outside. Inclination means desire. It takes craftiness to successfully trick a raccoon. Cleverness. I catch my camping gear behind a tree while I hike. Cache means hiding, storing. Following their migration route, the geese flew north. relocation the thick undergrowth made the forest impregnable going to be impossible to enter these are the meanings the basking sun bath or enjoy the afternoon breeze they're going to be long game undaunted the bird flew on in such a foot undauntedly unafraid was not afraid so this was our vocabulary basking warming oneself pleasantly as in sunlight cash to store in a hiding place mm-hmm. craftiness deviousness or deception cleverness immortality the condition of having an endless life impregnable impossible to enter by force so here are the exact pronunciation for such words which you can play and practice a t- inclination a tendency to prefer one thing over another migration the act of changing location seasonally philosophy a system of values or beliefs traits to walk or tramp around undaunted not discouraged courageous even though you have the noun this is the verb this is the an adjective so students it will help you to understand as well as which part of speech they are okay that is the 
end of the selection that's it so now we are going to share the worksheet with you how did we solve that and then we will go for the prezi to read about our story okay so students this is our worksheet these are the words and meanings which we have discussed already all the things are also available in the worksheet the powerpoint is all already with you and these are the fill in the blanks which we have done and solved okay and the next part was true and false so circle true is the underlined words meaning makes sense in the sentence and circle false if it doesn't okay so it depends if the words make sense then you have to say it's true if it doesn't make sense then you have to say it's false okay Pedro wanted to catch the pizza we're gonna save the pizza that everyone would ha could have a slice she want to save or store no false it's like this okay so okay now to this part the last part gonna be some use the bold face words i use some of the words there and you can write some of more some more words not one you can write more words and you can explain be prepared to give reasons for your answers you can give reason that why you selected this word why this is an action why this word is which word could apply to belief or preferences so belief if you said it's philosophy how do you know you can explain this students okay which words are related to hiding that's gonna be cash or craftiness how you can say cash and how can you say craftiness we need just one explanation which i told you to do by your own self okay the next worksheet gonna be this one here in the snapping turtle worksheet 2 i introduced you the natural history of turtles okay these are the most ancient creatures on the planet large numbers of these reptiles existed approximately 20 million years ago oh my god the average turtle can lay 100 of eggs some sea turtles lay as many as 100 eggs at a time snapping turtles generally lay between 20 and 40 eggs at a time okay so here this is what this was a general information about them we come to the next part I'm gonna be Joseph Brookhart, storyteller and writer. This was a short introduction about him. Lives in the Adirondack Mountain foothills town of Greenfield Center, New York, in the same house where his maternal grandparents raised him. See, his grandparents raised him. So what we saw in the writing, the narrator who raised him, his grandparents, you know, Sometimes when we write, we used to write so close to our life. So, see, when we will read the writer, it will be very easy to understand the writer's culture, his own values, why he talk about values. Much of his writing draws on that land and his Native American ancestry. Although his northeastern american indian heritage is only one part of an ethnic background that includes slovak and english blood that time people like that was the time of migration the time of war the time when the stories were written like the war impact the people like so many years after that people never came out from the racism from the impacts of war it like it was kept in their mind again and again that what happened with them what happened with the ancestors also some people and their natives they were like in the form of tribes so they used to move migrate from one place to another also it creates problem for us for the people who lives like this it really it's problematic situation you know when you are not living in your own country and you're moving again and again so summary the snapping turtle <clears throat> this is the place where he was living okay Adirondack mountains new york 1950s this is the setting of the story and the summary the narrator is a 10 year old boy who lives with his grandparents in a rural area of new york state 
Grandpa, who is part Native American, lives by traditional uh, Benaki values of respect for living things. Okay, everyone has their own values, own culture, and they try to behave like that. So one morning, the narrator goes fishing using the methods he learned from his grandfather. He soon catches enough trout of dinner. Later, he watches some other boys and learns that a man in town will pay $10 for a snapping turtle. Okay, one second, please. Okay, sorry for interruption. The boys soon abandon their efforts to catch a turtle, but the narrator knows how to do it, and he soon grabs a good-sized turtle by the tail. He hauls it home, and his grandfather drives him to town. The man in town offers three dollars for the turtle. The narrator refuses. Grandpa asks the narrator to think about why the turtle came to shore. Okay. Suddenly, the boy realizes that the turtle was ready to lay her egg. He asks his grandfather to drive back to the reservoir so he can return the turtle to her home. So, an act of kindness. Students, it's not only showing how the boy wants to like make money. It's showing us an act of kindness, an act of love and care, an act of keeping your values. Okay? So this was a short summary of the story. Then we have the plot same, the characters in which we have boy, the grandma and grandpa. I wrote some of the character traits of them. Okay, this was the, we have to choose the correct option. This was the very short multiple choice questions from the starting of the story. So I shared the answers already with you in the, during the class. So here they are if you have not done them so you can do it okay so the third part of the worksheet is as we said compare and contrast so when you compare and contrast this was one example which we have done in the class we are talking about two uh, people one was Jim and Evelyn and now we as we talked in the class what were the same things between them while we reading the paragraph and what were some different things and we would we have done that right okay so this is what we have done before and this is the activity which you have to do still it's a time for you to do it to practice it and then we can talk and share this part then you have to talk about two different characters where the boy other boys in the story and the, the, the narrator of course they have something different as well as the grandfather and grandmother what is same between them and what is different between them okay students that's it so this was a prezi which i shared with you the author the author biography okay where he read what he did in his life the first probably is with this is his writing and the awards he won this is about that this is the summary which i already shared this is the prezi students Prezi presentation, okay, so you can read all the things, the plot mountain is very clear here, what is an exposition, what is the rising action, the climax, the falling action and resolution. So these are some literary elements which please make sure you are reading it very clearly and it will help you to understand, okay, hyperbole, imagery, what is the point of view, setting, what they are and how we use them in our story last and the easiest part of our weekly lesson which was the present continuous tense okay so what we did i showed you a video and then we solved that exercise this is what i'm going to do it again for you students the video is already with you in online resources you can open and check continuous okay? how do we form the present continuous Affirmative. Subject. Plus. B. Plus. Present participle. Plus. Object. Andy. Is. Washing. The car.
conjugating the present continuous. Affirmative. You are drinking water. He is drinking water. She is drinking water. We are drinking water. They are plus object. I am not talking to Hannah. These are the examples. You're not drinking water. He's not drinking water. Only the important thing is you have to see I am, you are, he is, she is. Okay? And here with the form of first form of verb, ing. Water. She's not drinking water. You question doing a presentation. Are you doing a presentation? Am I teaching Yes, you? I am. Conjugating the present continuous. Interrogative. See how we will, they will move. This one. Like this. Okay. Am I drinking water? Are you drinking water? Okay. So it's like this. Easy one. The most easy uh tense in the grammar is continuous present continuous tense okay so this was our last worksheet which was about present continuous and i solved see how to make affirmative means simple sentence how to make negative sentence and how to make interrogative sentence okay so these are some very clear examples and this is how we solved it in the class answers are written i wrote in capital letter because i was doing it with you that time so you can change them okay after that we have done fill in the blanks and we wrote the b verbs is r m only this is you this is going to be used in present continuous tense is r m with singular is with plural r and m specifically with i okay her dogs what would be here for example are barking the one, one more it's gonna be is right woman there this is plural e n here it's singular it's plural so gonna be those women are okay it's clear i hope so make negative sentences from the given sentences sarah and tom are playing squash together easy to write sarah and tom are not playing squash together okay very easy one students very easy this is how we did in our class jim is not i am not reading a book okay and uh, make questions from the given sentences and we try to make one and this one i did we did that as well i just need to be capital because i was doing this in the class am i thinking about you we were in hurry right so we were doing this and here you have to give answers. Are you listening to me? Yes, I am listening to you. Like this. So that's it, students. I hope you understood. I hope everything is clear. The lesson is easy. The practice is easy. Only thing what we have to do is to practice the things again and again. I hope you best of luck. Happy Ramadan. Stay blessed. Take care of yourself and your family. Bye-bye.